Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video on the channel where today we have got the top five best skill moves. If you are sort of a beginner, you know, some of the most effective skill moves I think are pretty easy to learn. And if you're someone that is maybe struggling a little bit in FIFA, uh, maybe you're sort of, you know, just trying to get a little bit better in the game, you may, you may be just trying to find that way to get a few extra wins in champs or just become a little bit of a better player. Adding some of these skill moves, I think some of these skill moves are probably the easiest skill moves to try and learn. They're not very difficult to do, but they'll massively improve your game. And even some absolute top end players, uh, even someone like myself, I use a lot of these skill moves all the time. You probably see them in my gameplay all the time. They're some of the most effective skill moves in the game this year. So you definitely want to try and put these into your arsenal. If these are maybe a little bit too easy for you, I will have a, a top five more advanced skill moves coming out soon. So if you want to see that, do drop a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button as well if you are new to the channel. We're going into this first skill move. It is the scoop turn slash fake shot. Now this is a super effective skill move. One of the most used skill moves this year in FIFA and has been you know, massively uh, useful in previous years in FIFA. As you can see the controls on the screen on how to do the skill move. The way I personally use it, you can use B and A, for example, I play on the Xbox, you can use B and A. I personally use X and A, I found that just a little bit easier, uh, just muscle memory now has me doing it using X and A. So you can use B and A or X and A, but it is a super effective skill move. Now one note, one side note on this is the scoop turn. Um, it can be used by four and five star skillers. Now with a four star skiller, you can only use the scoop turn when you're standing still. With a five star skiller, however, you can do something called the running scoop turn. So if you are running and moving, uh, as you can see on this example, we've got Mbappe and we can take the ball left or right. But with a five star skiller, you can perform it whilst you're moving. With a four star skiller, you have to be stood still. So I've slowed down right now and what happens with this skill move and you can see how this skill move, how we take it and it just completely wrecks the defender and gives us lots of space inside. And then moving into some examples using this skill move. It's a really effective skill move. Uh, for me, the scoop turn, I think, is better than the fake shot. And we're talking about the normal fake shot, not the running fake shot, which is something we could get into in another video. But the scoop turn for me is a super effective skill move. I use it all the time. Obviously, having uh, Neymar, Garincha, and Mbappe as my attack, I've got three five-star skillers, so it kind of gives me unlimited skill moves. Like I've got an unlimited arsenal. Um, but the scoop turn for me is slightly more effective. And the thing to note with, with uh, skill moves like the scoop turn and the fake shot, they're more effective the more agile the player you've got. So if you've got uh, some super agile players, they're more effective. Um, they'll just perform the move a lot faster, whereas slower players that don't have as good agility will struggle to do the move quicker. So the better agility players you have in your team, you'll be able to perform the skill move a lot faster. But this, the scoop turn is super effective. It, it's something that you can use pretty much anywhere on the pitch. It's obviously best used in the box to create a little bit of space. It's sort of move that can uh, can easily create you half a yard, as we've seen in plenty of examples here. But not just the scoop turn, the fake shot's very effective as well. Um, it's very good at opening up space onto a strong foot. It's, it's sort of good skill move to move the ball from a strong foot to a, from a weak foot to a strong foot, open up space and easily create goals. So it's a very good skill move to use this year in the game. Now the second skill move we have got is the fake shot stop. Now this is a very effective skill move, even though it doesn't look like a lot. Um, but it's a very good skill move if you want to change direction really fast. Again, you can see the uh, controls on the screen. Whilst you are running, you have to be running, uh, pressing X and the A button on the Xbox, and it will fake stop the ball. So he will stop his movement and he will just stop immediately on a dime. And that's for me is why it's so effective. It's not necessarily a move that is going to absolutely like annihilate your defender and, and be impossible to defend, but it's the sort of thing that if you want to change direction really quickly in the box or around the box, it's something that can easily sell the defender and just give you that half a yard to maybe think about playing a pass or what you want to do with your next skill move. It's also a skill move that is best used in a combination. So if you fake stop and then maybe apply the, the fake shot or the scoop turn, as you can see in this example, what was exactly what we do. We use the fake stop to stop and then we immediately use the scoop turn to go on the outside. And it just creates that half a yard of space for us to put a cross in or look for a pass or do something. So it's a pretty effective skill move this year in FIFA. 
Now number three, we have got the ball roll. Now this is got to be one of, if not in my opinion, this has got to be the most used skill move I think this year in FIFA. I see this skill move used all the time. And I think the reason why this skill move is so good is because you, you can use it anywhere on the pitch. You can use it in the box. You know, you can use it to shoot. You can use it to, to run away from possession. You can use it in so many different ways. It's such an effective skill move and it's so simple to do. You only have to have two star skills to do it. And as I said, it is effective everywhere on the pitch. Um, but it's just uh, just knowing the angles and where to use it effectively. But a lot of people even use it in the middle of the pitch in possession. You probably see when I play, I use it all the time. I would probably say I use the ball roll like 50 times a game. You know, it's, it's such an effective skill move. And it doesn't look like a lot, but it's the sort of thing that it's very, very good. It's something that you, if you want to get to a, a decent level in FIFA, definitely a skill move that you want to add to your arsenal and something you want to think about involving in your game a lot more. You can see in this example with Mbappe how we completely sell the defender. Uh, he goes in for a sliding tack and we ball roll absolutely pinch, uh, inch perfect around him and uh, unfortunately it didn't create and the one thing that's with a lot of these highlights I think what's interesting to show I just think from a, from an editing point of view it's good to show you that these skill moves don't work all the time it's good to show that I think that whilst they do work that it doesn't always result in a goal um, I think sometimes when people make these sorts of videos they maybe look make it make something look invincible um, I think it's good to show that it doesn't work 100% all the time and, and, and it does have flaws. Um, but just seeing the amount of chances and opportunities that it does create, that it's not so this invincible skill move that can just uh, that can just destroy your opponent every time you use it. It's, it's good to show that it, is, it doesn't always result in goals, but it's a super effective skill move. You can just see that I, uh, that I use it all the time in so many, so many different areas of the pitch. I use it in the box, I use it out on the wing, I use it in the middle of the pitch. It's the sort of skill move that you definitely want to add to your arsenal because that's one of the most effective places to use it there on the wing. Ball roll on the outside, uh, let, our, let our winger make the run and then we use the fake shot to, uh, to create that goal. But it's so many areas where you can use the ball roll. Um, you, as I said, you can use it out on the wing. You, you, know, just, you can also see in a lot of these examples we're comboing skill moves. And that's something you want to learn how to do. You want to be able to put a couple of these simple skill moves, comboing them together can really take your game to the next level. Obviously some of these skill moves that you're seeing aren't in the, aren't in the video, but it's something that you definitely want to think about doing, comboing skill moves, because it's going to take your game to the next level. Now the fourth skill move that we do have is the drag back. Now this is something that, for me, is one of the most effective skill moves, and it's become super popular this year in FIFA. However, it's not something that I, I, sh I should use this a lot more, because it's such an effective skill move. It's so good at selling your opponent, um, because it's so hard to read, because it, it doesn't have any like telltale signs as when someone's going to do it and again it's something that's best used in my opinion in the box and it's also best trying to use it at sort of weird unorthodox angles don't want to use it at just sort of the straight um, obvious angles all the time but using these the skill move like the drag back at sort of like an awkward angle is when it's best used but it's something that is a super super effective skill move you can see this on this example how we completely sell two defenders and we create that space on the inside. Unfortunately, he does get the AI block in the end, but it's a very effective skill move. You know, you can use it there outside the box, just sometimes to just change direction and just give yourself maybe a little bit of space. I and mean, when you can see that we nearly got a chance there with uh, with Neymar, but it's the sort of skill move that is best used in the box. But as I said, you can use it anywhere um, on the pitch, you know, even in the middle of the pitch, just like that, just to change direction, just to give yourself a different idea and, and just a different way maybe, maybe just looking at somewhere else and you can see that we just you know we just uh, drag backed it to nowhere and it looked like a bit of a weird skill move but then we moved it uh, we moved the ball on and we were able to create the chance and a lucky hit the post with Ronaldo but it's a super effective skill move to use in so many different areas of the pitch you know you can get a lot of uh, a lot of good chances with it and it's a skill move that's really come back into popularity this year in FIFA and you can see as I said comboing those skill moves you know just a, an example of using a, a drag back and a scoop turn and a ball roll and you, you know you can combo these skill moves and you can create so many good little combinations that will take your game to the next level and uh, adding the drag back is definitely going to help you massively and then the fifth and final skill move that we do have is the stop and turn now for me this is a skill move that has been uh, some people would argue this skill move has kind of become less relevant as the years have gone on in fifa because it is quite an easy skill move to read but for me I still think it's a very good skill move, but you have to use it in very unorthodox positions. A lot of people would use this skill move out on the wing, and you'll see an example coming up, and you'll be able to pick it out where where people use it, and they use it wrong. They just use it in such an obvious area. If you're out on the wing, sort of next to the box, and you try and stop and turn on the inside, 
that's the worst place you can try and use it because that's so such an easy place to try and use that skill move it's so easy to read um, it's a very slow skill move in the sense that it's if you don't have a super agile player it's easy to read but using it in sort of the unorthodox play, uh, places on the pitch is the best place to try and use this you can see we have this with Neymar we're still out on the wing but we're kind of at an angle um, and you can see then we stop and turn on the inside it's actually a Berber spin because it's a five star skill move variant but it's the same skill move it's just got a different name and he kind of performs it slightly differently but using it as you can see there with the Bamiyang creating that space on the inside and then drilling it across for uh, for Dalgis to tap in so they are the top five most effective skill moves for me that are sort of the basic and easy ones to use to try and learn if there's a couple more that you do know do drop them in the comment section if you want to see more and if you do want to see that advanced skill moves video make sure you do drop a thumbs up on the video if you did enjoy and find this useful make sure you hit the subscribe button as well if you did enjoy the video that's all for today guys have an awesome day i'm out